Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and in this mini tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add in controls for mobile gaming. So if you're developing a game, say for iOS, uh, iPhone, uh, or you want to put it on Android, uh, generally speaking when you develop with Unity, everything you create here is done via keyboard. So we want to put in mobile controls so when you touch your touch screen on your phone or tablet you want it to work. Really simple to do. Firstly, in the file menu, you need to go to build settings and chances are it will be here uh, as PC, Mac, Linux, standalone. What you need to do is as early as possible in your project, you need to set it as either iOS or Android. So you're developing for iPhone, choose iOS and hit switch platform. In this case, I'm going to go with Android and I'm going to do the exact same switch platform. It'll have a quick think and it'll be switched over. So then you can close that down. Your next thing to do is down here in the asset window, right click, import package, and you need to go to cross platform input. All this does is in your standard assets folder, it brings up this folder. This folder contains uh, your cross-platform input and has a folder called prefabs. The second one along should be dual touch controls. All you need to do is drag and drop this into anywhere in your scene. It doesn't matter. It can be anywhere in your scene. And over here in the hierarchy, you'll then have this. If you go here and there isn't a tick here, then it does mean you've selected the wrong thing in build settings. Really simple to do now. If you press play, you'll see that you have these kind of in the middle of the screen. So let's say, for example, you want um, you move touchpad. So you've got your D-pad and you just need a jump button. So I'm going to double click that jump button and you can see it's this little bar here. I want to get rid of this turn and look around touchpad, for example. So I'm just going to delete, continue. And I'm going to move this jump button over here I think maybe Ooh, in fact I've moved the text of my my apologies so make sure you have jump here selected and let's bring this up to here so I think let's see let's modify the size let's have that jump button just there and this d-pad let's decrease the size a little have that there. I think we can actually increase that some. Let's bring it. Oops. Let's bring it down just a touch to there. And again, let's just increase the size to something decent. Okay, about that. So now, when we press play, you can use this as your area of movement. So you move your thumb around here to move on D-pad and then you press your other thumb here to jump. Now on a computer, it doesn't really work. You actually need um, this to be published on an Android device and that is in your build settings, but you need an Android device connected to your machine. So another quick little thing before we go, uh, let's change this to, I don't know, let's say you want it red as you have a red sort of game you can just change the color quite easily by going here color let's say red again so that is how you can put in a really simple um, control on a mobile device and the great thing about unity is you don't really need to know much coding to do that unity already comes with all that installed a lot of people just could never figure out how to actually get it working properly. But the main problem was always your build settings. You need to switch platform. So that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, check out my other tutorials. There's plenty more to be seen. And thank you very much for watching.